Hey, Take! Oh, wow. Oh, hello there. Welcome back to another show of the Hobo and the Girlfriend. I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. I have to remember when I hit buttons. And let's see here. Oh, let's talk about... Oh, um... Here to talk about some smack. I'm here to talk about pro wrestling. And in fact, talking about pro wrestling... There's a major announcement! I'm going to be changing the program schedule. Probably sometime that first or second week in October because there's a different wrestling shows show coming on. Um, SmackDown is going to Friday night. But there won't... Oh man, I just made that that universal thumbnail, too. I have to change that. Shoot. Because it'll be Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night Impact. I'm still not keen on just doing NXT from Full Sail. So it'll be AEW on Wednesday. Thursday, Thursdays are kind of my semi-special days. They're reserved for predictions. And then Friday is going to be WWE SmackDown. Saturdays will still be reserved for AEW and Impact. Pay per views. I think they have the. I think they have them on Saturday. And then Sundays, with the exception of a couple Sundays, is reserved for WWE pay per views. And Saturdays again, there's always some potential of NXT live videos. So that is the major announcement. I'm actually getting a lot better at dealing. With dealing with this. But enough about that. I am the one, the only Hobo Tom. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. Let's see if I can get this done so I can go do my hoboing. I need some money, so I have to go get my aluminum. Oh, before I do that, a really good person in Discord. Dan Blaze! You, sir are out of here! Yeah, and he, he kind of let me know. He confirmed my thoughts that Impact was moving to to Tuesday night. Because I heard about that, I think, from the guys at Walt Culture. And I think WrestleMania and Cultaholic also picked up on that. So that confirmed things. So I had my three proper sources. So I can report. Yeah, maybe. That impact's going to Tuesday. But this is still a regular Tuesday. But it's a Tuesday in September. So it's time for some SmackDown Live. And Tom Phillips is alive. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what would happen without Tom Phillips there. It would be chaos, and SmackDown would probably get worse ratings. Uh, starts off with a Rowan promo. Then Daniel Bryan eventually comes on out. Says, no, I don't like you anymore, because 
because you lied to me and, and I th- and I thought I respected you and 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 I thought you respected me and I and all that fun stuff. So it starts with our first match of the night. So it goes from promo to match. I like that. Because Daniel Bryan's like, I just want to fight you. Because you're fickle. So it's Daniel Bryan versus Rowan. Rowan just, for the most part of the match, beats up poor Daniel Bryan. He fun splashed him twice. The, the, the running body splash in the ring and outside the ring. That's so fun to see big guys pull that off somehow. Eventually, Daniel Bryan, during the commercial break, kind of got tossed back in the ring. Rowan's like, no, it's too early. More pain. My prediction? Pain. So, Daniel Bryan, he goes after the knee end, which is smart. Uh, he did the drop kick on the knee, and then he went for the uh, tackle, the lo- low tackle, the chop. Top block. That's what it is. Again, trying to get him off his thing. But I'll tell you what. <sighs> Rowan has that nice looking power body slam. Again, he's really that does that really good. Um Daniel Bryan again. He was smart though. He used Rowan's momentum against him. At one point they were on the outside. Daniel Bryan did get a ten count. To get back in the ring eventually. Um, Rowan goes outside. They start to brawl more. And Daniel Bryan uses Rowan's momentum. Throws him against the ring post. Which is the hardest part of the ring. Don't let anyone tell you it's the ring apron. No, because there's still pad there. It's the metal of the ring post. Especially if it's like the, it's like the old school NXT ring post. They're just like one big block of metal, which is cool. Uh, so what happens? Luke Harper shows up, distracts Daniel Bryan. Uh, Daniel Bryan does get the Iron Claw slam on him. Rowan wins. And then they continue to beat up Daniel Bryan. Then Woman comes out for the save. He kind of clears house a little bit. He and Daniel Bryan have a stare down a little bit. And like Daniel Bryan's like, I, it's like, just let me know in one word if you want to see Roman and I kick their ass. And the whole crowd's like, yes, 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 yes. So Daniel and Brian's bringing back his, his face persona, which is good. It's fun. This was a fun match. This was a, for the start off and roll, this was a good cheeseburger match. Then we had a Becky Lynch preview. No, it was Brock Lesnar. I'm sorry, but Becky Lynch comes later. Uh, Brock Lesnar kind of recap about, about what happened. And then it's a Kofi Kingston interview. I don't mind these interviews. The fact that Michael Cole does them. Not bad. I do like the sit down aspect of it, though. I don't know. Maybe it'll be one of those things I'll grow on me. Who knows? And then we had Chad Gable versus Mike Canales. Again, Chad Gable enduring all the short jokes. Which is weird because Canales is only an inch, maybe two inches taller than Chad Gable. And of course, it was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, short guys have short joke with him, but. I can't wait till Maury Povich gets, gets on this. It'll be fun. Uh, the match started. Gable hit two overhead German suplexes, put the ankle lock, and Mike Knowles taps. That was it. It's a can of soup match. Then Elias is in the background. He makes a song about Chad. Good play, Mr. Elias, sir. And then <laughs> there's a recap. Oh, and I figured out who the other three women were. And it's so terrible because it's it's this poor Tamina. She's stuck in the loser locker room. 
And now you know who else is in the loser rock room, locker room? Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty bad. Then the next match, um, are those, uh, yeah, because it was a recap because Art Truth was there, kind of hide. Carmella, so that's kind of cool. It's like, no, Carmella's not here. Car Carmella's not here. Yeah, she's she's over there somewhere. So Art Truth is just so good. He's comedy gold. The next match features uh, Charlotte Flair and Carmella versus Sasha Banks and and Bailey. And I'll tell you what. That was a decent match. Carmella can hold her own, and she's doing much better than she used to. She's so much more refined now. Sasha Banks, though. She's going to wind up ripping her lip off. Because she actually did bust her lip. And I, I never realized it, but she has a tattoo on the inside of her lip like a horse. That has to hurt. I know n the neck and rib cage tend to be the two most painful spots for tattoos, but I don't know. That inner lip. This inner lip, folks. Because it's not, not the reverse tramp stamp. Oh, that's kind of growing on me, though. But still, I think that'd be weird. I think it's just one of my two things that would absolutely not make me date a woman. She had like a tattoo on her lips, or like facial facial tattoos. I know some are cultural. If you're a Maori, that's your culture. If you're just a weirdo, though. Not necessarily my thing. And tongue rings. Tongue rings. I kissed a girl with a tongue ring once. I didn't know she had it. I didn't know that they were a thing. It hit my tooth. It put me the tongue. But it hit my tooth and I almost bit her tongue off. And I just said, never, never, no more. And I'll tell you what, Carmella got the hot tag on, on Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair just doled out boots to everyone. And Sasha looked like she, she died. She, like the boot hit Sasha. Sasha's head literally bounced off the ring post. Bounced off the ring mat. And then she fell on the floor. She probably busted her lip open again. She's just a walking ambulance. Walking ambulance call. Um, with that, Carmel gets back, starts kicking everyone. Again, Carmel's kicks look good and believable. Uh, Sasha does reverse. What's it called? Uh, Carmel's satellite head scissor takedown into a bag statement. And Charlotte's just like. There on the on the ring apron, standing there, just like uh, 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 oh, what's what are you doing? Get out of that hold! So Carmella tapped, and it's like Sh Charlotte, you're supposed to help your tag team partner, maybe. Uh, so eventually, the lot loser locker room then comes out. Our truth carries carries Carmella away with the twenty four seven title. I think there are even more women. Like Fire and Desire were there. Kabuki Warrior showed up. Oscar's in the no. Why is Oscar in the loser locker room? What have you done to my Kyrie Sane? Terrible. Uh, so Sasha and Bailey start to beat up on Charlotte. 
And then Becky Lynch comes down for the save without a belt. Okay, it looks like Sasha bit her lip again. Uh, this whole match, I don't know. You can always feel free to disagree with me, but Sasha Banks and Bailey never did it for me on any level. I never thought minus one or two matches that Sasha Banks had. I think even those matches, there was always some some screwy botch. But you know what? I'll reverse that. I don't think Sasha Banks ever did it for me. I just know that she had a booty on her. And she would get her wrestling trunks hiked up the booty. So, but even then, it's like, uh, it always looked fake. I don't know. I don't know. So we continue on with Joe Shinsuke Nakamura versus Ali. This is pretty fun. Again, the king of strong style. He has the kicks, though. Those are stiff looking. I'm glad Ali can take a stiff kick. Again, Ali. Ali has his comeback. He's he's good. Uh, Sami Zayn, of course, introduces him. Sami Zayn's kind of being a pest on the ringside. He distract, He actually pulls out Shinsuke Nakamura from pinning predicament. Distracts Ali. Shinsuke Nakamura hits the Kinshasa on Ali. It's good to see Ali on, on TV, though. Especially, especially on the main show, not just 205 Live. So they're kind of, I think they are phasing out 205 Live a bit. It was a good match. Shinsuke Nakamura won. It's a ham sandwich. Nothing really spectacular. Then for some reason, the B team took on the New Day. I mean, it was a good showing by both Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, although I do want to see he probably put, put Bo into the Mandible Claw. And convert him to his side. I mean, they're brothers. That should just be a natural thing. But uh, they, they did the B train. That was kind of fun. And then Biggie was the caboose. Then Biggie just wrecks both Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. I wonder if Axel and Dallas would go back to NXT. Especially if it was for a TV taping. That might be a decent idea. Uh, but for the first half of the match, it was the, the B team. The last half of part of the match, the part that mattered, New Day kind of took over. They did the midnight hour. Uh, New Day won. A shortish ham sandwich match? And then the next match. And of course, they were te teasing the Shane McMahon, and I'm like, oh, that's going to be the main event. Policy. I don't want to see legal issues. Legal issues are boring. If you ever have to deal with legal issues, let me tell you one thing about legal issues. They're boring. There are reasons why lawyers could pay a lot of money. And they get paid a lot of money probably to stay awake. Because I think I was watching some shows on YouTube, uh, the legal eagle guy. And he's like, this doesn't happen this quickly. It's like, this could like, be held up a whole year. And I know with three of my friends are good lawyer for our good lawyer friends. Tim's in real estate. Dan was public defense. And now business. And Robert is wills and estates. And they just tell me how, like, they, like, half the time they're like, like, Dan would tell me when he was a public defender. Without naming names, it's like, the client was telling him everything. He's just falling asleep. It's like nodding off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 tell me a little bit more about that, that fact. Oh, oh, no, I'm awake. Don't worry. Well, well, you're not paying for this anyway. So, so or it's a $200 an hour break. 
I forget, but then we had the Kabuki Warriors versus Fire and Desire. Manny Rose to start this whole thing off. Manny Rose was was, was signing magazine had signed magazines of Maximum in Australia or the Australian Maxim. Otis got that. Otis Otis's eyes got a little too big. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and and Tucker's like, dude, what's wrong with you? And Otis is like, yeah, and then Otis was like, ha, 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 ha. you know what those two kind of reminded me of? Wow, Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, for this segment, that's what those two reminded me of. But it was like a Kabuki Warriors versus Fire and Desire. Manny Rose is more concerned about giving Corey Graves a signed copy of her magazine. I wouldn't mind that either, actually. Sonya Deville gets distracted. Has to reel her back in. Asuka just beats. Uh, boo, Sonya Deville. Boo, Sonya Deville. Boo, Sonya Deville. Those, those kicks, I know... Tony Deville is a legit MMA person. Asuka's kicks look like she knew what she was doing, but Asuka's the best. And Asuka had a new mask. It was a black with kind of like gold. And because of Connor's cure, they're being auctioned off. That and Kairi Sane's hat with gold flake in it. That's pretty cool. Sane comes in, beats up everyone. Yeah, Sonya and Mandy get in their little offense. Pfft, whatever. Uh, I just know that that Asuka dropped. <laughs> Asuka just... Asuka went for a pinfall. And she just flat up sat on Mandy's boobies. I feel bad for Mandy. Asuka just sitting on her boobie. And then Asuka dropped Mandy again. Kairi Sane got the hot tag in, hot blind tag. Did the insane elbow, which is still just like third best elbow. Pinned Mandy Rose. Sat on her chest, too. Sat on her boobies. There must be some Asian things. That, I don't know. That's just weird. It's entertaining. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this. Was the Carmel on the episode? See that bra she was wearing. And that bra went down and, and, and those boobies went up. And you know what you saw then? It was really quick and like. I'll tell you what, these cameramen are, are, are... These cameramen and whoever's working production is really good at that stuff. Uh, uh, Kabuki Warriors won. It was a fun match. Not great. Oh, the funniest thing about this match is that there was some guy running around with a sign that says, I smell hippies. You smelly hippie. Smelly hippie. That's an old Futurama reference. That's always good. I smell hippies. Like, smelly hippies. Wrong. Hey, man. I'm not a smelly hippie. Yes, you are. You're a smelly, disgusting bush hippie. I'm going to eat you now. Whoa. That bush hippie is not settling too good. That was, that's a funny episode of Futurama. Then it was a Kevin and Owen, a Kevin Owens and Shane's legal issues. Again, legal issues are not this exciting. Then in the backstage, Becky Lynch is doing a promo because they cut off. <laughs> they cut off Shane's mic to say yes, because the short part of it, uh, Kevin Owens and Shane's having a ladder match with, I guess, KO's contract in the briefcase. He'll win. Uh, Becky's backstage doing an interview, gets jumped by Sasha. I can see Sasha coming literally from all the way in the background. 
Like, Becky, look out! Like, why can't Charlie Warner? I mean, it's pretty obvious, too. Uh, so, Sasha beats up Becky. Yeah, whatever. And that was... And that was... Yeah, I gave that match already. That was SmackDown. A mediocre SmackDown? It's a ham sandwich. So that's all for Tuesday. Ooh, tomorrow I'm going to cover NXT. So let me cross this off my list of things I got done for a change. And then Tuesday, there's nothing to talk about. Or Thursday, there's nothing to talk about. Today's Tuesday. And then Friday will be probably one of the last Red Wine and Impact Fridays. I can't believe I just made that whole thing, too. Sorry, there's nothing. I'm going to the boat show. Sunday's nothing. So, I'll, oh, you won't see me again. T yeah, so it's going to be Wednesday and Friday, then. I'm off, then. Have a good day, guys. Bye.